The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to How to Check My Own Blood Pressure. In this video, we'll talk about learning how and when to check your own blood pressure. Do you have high blood pressure, also called hypertension? Is your doctor concerned about your blood pressure? Your nurse, therapist, and doctor take your blood pressure during visits with you, but should you take your own blood pressure in between these visits? Taking your own blood pressure in between healthcare visits can be very helpful for you and your doctor. It can tell them what is working and what is not working so well. Your doctor may have changed your medication or discussed different lifestyle changes. These changes, also called lifestyle modifications, include losing weight, eating healthier with the DASH eating plan, lower salt or sodium, exercising more often, limiting alcohol intake, and quitting smoking or tobacco use. Checking your blood pressure at home and keeping a record will let you see if your blood pressure is going down, staying the same, or going up. So where do you start? First, discuss with your doctor or nurse whether or not it's a good idea for you to check your own blood pressure. You may be asking, how can I check my own blood pressure? There are home blood pressure monitors that are easy to use. These monitors can be used in the home by yourself or with the help of others. They can be bought at local pharmacies, general department stores, and on the internet. The cost of basic models range from around $40 to $70. If the cost of the monitor is a problem, consider asking your family to buy one for you as a gift for Mother's or Father's Day, your birthday, or any other special occasion. You can also ask your doctor or nurse where you can buy one for a reasonable price. Here are a few tips about getting a monitor. Measure the size of your upper arm in inches and check to make sure the arm measurement range is the correct size. You should be able to get only two fingers in between the cuff and your arm. Find a monitor that has a cuff that is easy to put on and take off. Blood pressure monitors with arm cuffs are preferred to a monitor with a wrist cuff. Most home blood pressure monitors are digital. Pick one that is easy to use and read. You don't need a lot of extra features. Many of the models will save your blood pressure readings in the memory. If you can't afford a home blood pressure monitor, take advantage of the free blood pressure monitors that can be found at many stores, supermarkets, or pharmacies. Read the instructions, practice trying the cuff on your arm and adjusting it to be snug. Before taking your blood pressure, get familiar with your new monitor. Learn how to start the monitor and where the results will appear. Your practice blood pressures may not be accurate at first, so don't write them down. Just get comfortable with operating the monitor. Taking your blood pressure is simple with a monitor, but there are many different things that can cause readings to be inaccurate. You should wait at least 30 minutes after eating, drinking caffeine, exercising, smoking, being in a cold temperature, experiencing acute pain, or having a stressful event before you take a blood pressure reading. Also, make sure you recently emptied your bladder. A full bladder can cause a rise in your blood pressure. Do not use a blood pressure cuff on an arm if you have a dialysis catheter or shunt, lymph nodes removed, diagnosed with lymphedema, or for any reason your doctor told you not to get blood work or blood pressures in a specific arm. You need to sit quietly and not talk for five minutes in a chair with a back. Your arm needs to be supported on a table or the arm of the chair, about the level of your heart. Make sure your feet are on the ground and your legs are not crossed. Now relax. Getting anxious and nervous will increase your blood pressure. You'll take several readings, so take a deep breath and relax. Go ahead and start your monitor. You'll want to take two or three different readings from the same arm with about one minute in between each reading. Write down each of the readings and you will average them together. If you're not sure or uncomfortable with averaging them, write them all down in your blood pressure log, a tracking sheet, or a calendar. Your healthcare provider will get the information they need. That sounds like a lot of steps, but it will become part of your routine, like putting on your clothes. So now what? Look at your numbers. What do they mean? Are they higher or lower than last time? What is the blood pressure target for your systolic, that's the top number, and your diastolic, that's the bottom number? Talk with your doctor or nurse to get your target range and what the numbers mean. 
If your blood pressure is good or getting better, congratulate yourself. Good job. Think about what you're doing to get the numbers down. Taking your medications regularly, watching your diet, eating a healthy diet with low salt intake, losing weight, increasing your physical activity, reducing the amount of alcohol you are drinking, or quitting smoking and tobacco use. Always share your blood pressure readings with your healthcare team all the time. So how often should you check your blood pressure? When should you call the doctor, nurse, or therapist with your readings? You can take your blood pressure every day, but you should check it at least three times a week. You should take your home blood pressure monitor into the doctor's office with you at least once a year so they can check your monitor's results against the blood pressure readings at the doctor's office. The readings will not match but should be similar. Taking your blood pressure at home is an important part of managing your high blood pressure. You're taking an active role in getting regular readings, deciding if they're outside or within your target range, and if the doctor needs to be notified. You're working with your healthcare team to help reduce your risks of heart attack and stroke. Thank you for watching How to Check My Own Blood Pressure. We hope you learned why and how to check your own blood pressure at home. Remember to ask your nurse or doctor for help when you need it.